how do you get the best sound for audio? We talk about that a lot. And this question, in particular, comes to us from Steve in St. Cloud, Florida. Hey, Paul, I use a cheap 13, uh, oh, sorry, I use a cheap i3 laptop as the source for my headphone amp running FUBAR 2000. I'm completely uninformed when it comes to getting a better source for the headphone amplifier, which happens to be the PS Audio GCHA. Can you give an overview of my options? Please note that I love the convenience of having the laptop as a source, the ability to use EQ, and I'm not interested in getting a CD transport. Thanks, Steve. P.S. I love your videos. Aw, blush. Thanks. Appreciate it, Steve. Well, um, you know, computer audio is a very interesting subject, one that's near and dear to my heart in Music Room 1, where the big Infinity IRS 5s are. That's our primary source of music. We're either playing CDs on our, our direct stream memory player, or we are playing streaming music off of our, our favorite, which is Cobuz, Q-O-B-U-Z. Uh, it's a French service, kind of like Tidal. Tidal's great too, but our, our favorite is Cobuz. I think the sound quality is a little better there. And I would say 80 or 90% of the time when people come to visit, when we are doing work on equipment, uh, evaluating something, we're streaming from Cobuz. And while we don't do it on a laptop, we certainly do it on the equivalent. I mean, there's hardly any difference between a laptop and what we use, which is a Mac Mini. And uh, just because we're Apple fans, but there are also, you know, good uh, window applications. Rune users have their little Nook, which is a low-cost Windows computer that's running uh, the music program Rune. And in general, computer audio, with a, a few caveats and things you need to watch out for, uh, is very good. My mentor and, and former partner, Arnie Nudell, who helps us, uh, well, before he passed away, helped us design speakers and taught me pretty much everything I know about the design of loudspeakers. All he would ever use is a laptop. Arnie would never hook up to a power supply driven computer because Arnie believed that the battery, the isolation from the battery powered laptop always trumped anything he had ever heard from a unit that plugs into the wall. So everything Arnie ever did was in an IBM laptop. Now, what are the other things to look at? So that's one thing to think about. You might be light years ahead because of the battery in there. But in general, the things you need to watch out for are the program that you're running and the cable that is connecting it. So you're almost surely going to be connected with USB. That cable makes a heck of a difference. I know, I know, I know. Just take a deep breath. Seriously, just take a deep breath. It's okay. I'll give you a quick example. We were at Expona, and the show in Chicago, and we had the, the new PS Audio speakers, the AN3s, and we were setting them up. System sounded quite good. It was, you know, uh, day one near the end of setup. But they just didn't, just didn't click in as, as best as we wanted. And I knew that part of the problem was just slightly flat, didn't have the dimensionality and the depth and the openness that we are so used to listening to those speakers. And we just had a little cheesy ass USB. I mean, it was, it was, you know, it was just some off the shelf USB cable because that's all we had traveled with. And the, the one that I normally use, I had left, unfortunately, it in uh, Music Room One. So we made a panic call to our friend Isaac Markowitz, who works for AudioQuest. Isaac, uh, you know, my son Scott, we need help, man. We need, an, we need a USB cable. And, uh, and he was still, poor guy was in the air traveling from Denver over to Chicago. As Soon as he landed, first thing he did is he showed up and he brought his, I don't know what they are, vodka, diamonds, you know, I, 
I love Bill Lowe, who, who owns AudioQuest, but I mean, I never can keep up with his names. But anyway, so we're playing. There are five, ten people in the room at the time, some customers, some dealers, and we didn't even tell them what we were doing. We were just playing. Isaac shows up. Here you go. And I, oh, thank God. Thank you, Isaac. And so went over, unplugged the little cheap USB cable that we had, plugged in the whatever audio quest, turned it on, and there wasn't one person in the room. And mind you, not one of them knew what the hell we were doing. Not one. They were all chatting and listening. Like every head in that room went over and, what just happened? What, what, what just happened? I mean, I know, I know. Mass hallucination, but it's true. And you can believe me or you don't, but cables matter a lot, especially USB. So that's important when you're dealing with computer audio. The next thing to pay attention to, and perhaps even more important, or as important, the program that you're running. Now, whether you're on Mac or on Windows, those computers have their own internal uh, sound program. I, I, it's, uh, I forgot what, what uh, Mac calls it, but it, it runs it through an upsampler. And what they're trying to do is to make sure that anything you play will play seamlessly on your computer. High res, low res, whatever. And if you'll notice in a Mac, and I'm sure it's the same on Windows, you can go in and set the sample rate. So I, I want everything coming out at 192 or uh, 44 or whatever. Well, it, it'll do that. It'll take whatever you got and output it, upsample, downsample. Uh, and, and that's what you want to get rid of. Th th those sound awful. So there are programs for Macs like BitPerfect, Autorvana. And Autorvana uh, is quite good because it also works on Windows. And those kinds of programs uh, make a huge difference because what they do is they circumvent all that junk in the middle that Microsoft and um, Apple put in to make it nice for pedestrians, <laughs> not people that are actually interested in good sound. So paying attention to those things, I think you're in great shape. Your laptop is probably just fine. Make sure you have a good cable, make sure you have a good program, and you'll be fine. Okay. Thanks. Great, great question. I'll talk to you tomorrow.